Okay, it's 8.52 p.m. Here's a tiny black snake. I just noticed crawling around the floor of the laundry room. I have no idea how this thing could have gotten in here other than someone putting it in here. The door's way over there and the other door's way over there. So, um, there's no windows. The windows don't open. So how would a little black slug like this get in here? You know, it's not wet or anything even. So somebody put this in here. I'm gonna go put it into the garden with them for itself, I guess. So there it is. And there's um, where the bird was still tonight. But was it still here or did someone remove it last night and then replace it? Was it last night that I saw that bird? It might have even, was it last night or was it the night before? It might have been the night before. So anyway, this bird is either still there or it was replaced, removed and replaced. And the reason why I think it could have possibly been removed and replaced is because I didn't see it once again walking into the laundry room. Maybe because I was carrying clothes. I'm not certain. Anyway, I grabbed a leaf and I picked up the bird. And I, what, this time when I saw the bird, I thought about, you know, I sort of think about symbolism of, you know, that animal. And I was showing other animals that um, seem to have been placed in front of, you know, certain places. Um, usually it's rats or birds, but I, I've also in the past seen, you know, as I said, lots of worms, of course, and fish. But... Um, I don't want to give anybody any ideas as far as messing with animals that are alive, but um, I picked up the bird with a leaf, grabbed my handy spade, and decided to bury it in this garden area, and I thought, where am I going to bury this bird? The first place that occurred to me was right here between in this little spearmint patch. And so I grabbed my spade and I started to dig a little bird-sized grave in the spearmint patch. And down in there, I found an acorn, like a buried acorn. So that was weird because I think what I was starting to say and what I didn't mention yet is this use of birds to terrorize my daughter, use of dead birds on my daughter as a trauma technique. Uh, as she was growing up, it's something that I've detected. Um, when I found that acorn, uh, I decided not to bury the bird in that place and I buried it over here. Um, there's this, so how did, how, I'm, I'm just kind of curious how the acorn, is there, was there something more to this than a, a, me coincidentally digging up an acorn? Did an animal put that acorn down there? Did I put the acorn down there? Is it a coincidence or did someone else put the acorn down there? And I don't know. I know that at some point there was, I was carrying an acorn around in my pocket, but I don't know how it would have gotten into that spot. And so it was about, the acorn was about four inches deep in the ground maybe. So it seems a bit deep for a, um, I don't know if Jay's you know, scrub jays, berry acorns, squirrels might, but there's no oak trees around here. So maybe I dropped an acorn that a squirrel found and buried. That's possible. But it's kind of a weird um, coincidence that I um, dug it up right there. And as soon as I did that though, okay, here's the part two. As soon as I did that, I had to wonder whether it was a coincidence that I dug that acorn up. Um, because it is an unusual thing, it's not, there's, again, there's no oak trees around here and it was buried fairly deep. Um, I kind of just put all that aside, and but it made me think about an incident that had happened in probably, it was April or spring of 2015, I think it was. Um, I just saw a single flash in the sky and then went dark again. 
Um, I think I'm actually seeing more than one flash, but I saw one very bright one. Okay, so anyway, it was um, April, I think, 2015. This is before I was keeping records of everything, and the reason why I wasn't keeping the records of everything is not that lots of stuff wasn't happening. It's because um, I was retaliated against for even opening up a notebook back then, and I thought that maybe, you know, I could solve by co you know my problems by cooperating. That was the impression that, you know, people kept trying to give me. Um, and that if I didn't, you know, try to cooperate, then of course it would all be my fault when things didn't work out, you know. So, um, mind control, obviously, you know, blame, blame the victim, whatever, however you want to put it. Anyway, back then, I was, walked out here and just sort of thoughtlessly, without thinking, you know, I was throwing out some compost. I lifted the compost bucket up and then I let it drop down and then when it dropped down I saw that there was a um, body of a slug not just a slug but a banana slug and um, I lifted it back up again I saw that I had perfectly beheaded this banana slug this was um, and this seemed to coincide with um, this whole sort of cycle going again and people saying oh you blew it blah blah I don't know how they you know decided that I blew it you know, everything is always, the blame was always projected on me, you know, I mean, that's part of the game that's going on, is to project the blame on me and see if I accept it myself, or even if I don't, if they can get other people to, you know, decide or act as if it's my fault, then it's, you know, they can add insult to injury and, you know, confusion and additional um, problems. Um, anyhow, why was the slug there, and how was the slug situated exactly? It was climbing into the thing so that I would perfectly behead it. When I saw that, I got really creeped out. You know, I knew that at that, I knew in my gut that that wasn't, there's was something weird about that. Um, so that was 2015. I didn't even, like, start to figure out that stuff was really going on with actual, um, and I've seen other evidence that snails and things like that can be controlled, and I can show you something that I, you know, a snail trail that I photographed during the time when the insect demos were being done for me in 2018. So I dig up this acorn, and then I go, and I think about the slug, and then I go into the laundry room, and I find the slug. That's what happened tonight.